So I can't even lie. Kyle Jerome Ezekiel Sluter, and that's correct Dutch pronunciation, by the way. He's one of my favorite topics because we can just be silly. And of course, we're ma making a mountain out of a backup quarterback, but a dude who's shown bright like a diamond in preseason whenever given opportunity. He's a gamer. He's a baller. He's a shot caller. But, of course, Mike Zimmer just sullied this kid's reputation, threw him under the bus. But, yeah, because if you had a backup quarterback showing a little bit of promise, of course you would talk to the media every single opportunity you had and just crap on him. It's like, well, eh, he doesn't do things quarterback needs to do, like uh, uh, look at the play clock, please. Can the kid make plays? And it, it's fun because I feel like, too many outlets and even YouTube channels, like they try to be, oh, we're trying to be too serious with their analysis and stuff. It's like we are literally talking about a game where grown men in tights and little pads chase each other over inflated pig bladder. I mean, it's just sports ball. Let's have some fun, man. So he's back, back again. Suter is back. Tell a friend. So not only was he signed at the ass end of last season by Rick Spielman to piss off Mike Zimmer. Kyle Sluter is going to be back this spring playing actual football, and you love it, man. So the USFL is back, and it's going to stick as a spring minor league. They're not going to compete head-to-head -head with the National Football League, uh, etc. And this is like the 17th iteration of a spring football league, the AAF, the UFL, the XFL, the, uh, the, the spring experimental football league. There's been a bunch of them, but... I actually think this one could have some legs, man. And Kyle Sluter was a first-round pick by the New Orleans Breakers. And I also love that they're bringing back a lot of the OG USFL. Actually, all the OG USFL teams, or the majority of them. They got eight teams this year. So, this is now a New Orleans Breakers account. Now, I, I never thought that I could cheer for a, another stupid football team from New Orleans, but here we are. Here, here we are. So, we're going to go through the list. They actually had their draft on Tuesday night, rounds 1 through 12. And it's interesting that they broke down the draft by position. They got day 2 going on today. So then they're going to be getting into wide receivers and tight ends and linebackers and all that stuff. But there's some very interesting names. So first round, Shea Patterson going to the Michigan Panthers. And I remember, the Michigan Panthers, they won the USFL championship. It was Bobby Bear and Anthony Carter, the original AC. So, I mean, Shea Patterson was bad. <laughs> like, I've... Uh, so, not only is Jeff Fisher your head coach and GM and whatnot, but now Shea Patterson is back. I mean, Michigan football fans, they understand Shea Patterson. And then they're like, no, like we couldn't do better. Fine. Uh, Jordan Tiamu uh, going to the Tampa Bay Bandits, uh, as well as uh, Brian Scott. So, a lot of these names are like, oh, hey, that guy. I mean, Tiamu had a nice college career. Brian Scott was part of the Spring Football League, I want to say. Ben Holmes as well going to the uh, New Jersey Generals. I... Was he Tarlington State? Something like that. There's a ton of, hey, that guy names on this list. It's a lot of fun. Clayton Thorson, uh, Northwestern, Alex Magoo, who's a backup with the uh, with the, with the the Seahawks, I want to say. Uh, Kyle Laletta, the pride of Richmond. I think Laletta was a fourth-round pick uh, with the Giants, and then it just did not work out. <laughs> and then Kyle, Jerome, Ezekiel Sluter. Now, I, I think most of these picks were predetermined. Because they had a photo op with all eight of the first-round quarterbacks uh, with their appropriate jersey. So, obviously, this is you know, a little bit staged and, and whatnot. But, I mean, this is fun, man. And you could make a good case. Like, in terms of National Football League uh, accomplishments, and by that we, we mean preseason, Kyle Suter is by far the most accomplished quarterback uh, of these eight. So, that's super interesting. Plus, uh, Kyle Suter, he feasted in preseason against twos and threes. And... You look at some of the names on these lists. I mean, they're not even twos and threes. They're like threes, fours, and fives. But that's okay. And Kyle Sluter, I'm putting it out there right now. Kyle Sluter, USFL MVP this season. Love to see it, man. It's going to be great. Carlos, oh, I, I, again, there's a bunch of names on here. They're just like, hey, that guy. And I'm not going to lie. I don't even recognize half of these names either. And I, like, do football. Right. Uh, so, oh, Andre Santamore, he had a cup of coffee with the Vikings. Uh, I Actually, he might have made it two years. I think he's out of Georgia Tech. So, that's interesting. Uh, there's a couple former Vikings on, on this list. Again, this is only day one. Alan Newsom. We're, we're going deep. It, it, it's like this is Madden simulation where you have future drafts and then they just make up names. Just tossing them out there. Isaiah Battle out there with the Pittsburgh Maulers. Uh, let's see. 
a lot of tackles. A lot of tackles on day one. Or a lot of tackle rounds, I, I should say. Uh, th there's a Vikings cornerback on here somewhere. Oh, Tay Hayes. Yeah, Tay Hayes, who was brought in from the Dolphins with Cordrea Tankersley. Remember him? Uh, Tay Hayes, I think Appalachian State, I want to say. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so the Vikings taking over the USFL, baby. Woo! Love it, man. Uh, and, and then there's a second round of uh, quarterbacks in here somewhere. Oh, Zach Smith. Zach Smith back up uh, on the New Orleans Breakers. Yeah, you ain't taking Sluter's job, man. Kyle Sluter's going to be the Tom Brady of the USFL. Josh Love, not Jordan Love. Josh Love. Jamar Davis Smith. Uh, DeAndre Johnson, Case Cookis, another former Vikings legend, the pride of Northern Arizona. He goes to the Philly Stars, Philly, 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 Brady White, and of course Paxton Lynch, the the legendary Paxton Lynch, who just got released from the CFL, so he's able to take part of the USFL. I mean, I mean Paxton Lynch was a first round pick, man. I, I, even though he looked like an out of work magician coming out of Memphis, it is what it is. But I'm pretty excited about this league. And like we said, they got all the OG names. Now, I didn't think that the Houston Gamblers name could stick around in today's society. But, of course, sports gambling is open up. So, yeah, whatever there. But Tampa Bay Bandits. I mean, Burt Reynolds was a minority owner. I mean, playing bandit ball. Steve Spurrier was part of that. That's great, man. Uh, Philadelphia Stars. That's where – was it Sam Mills got his start? Yeah, I want to say it was Sam Mills got his start with the Philadelphia Stars because it was Jim Mora. Uh, Jim Mora was with the Philadelphia Stars, and then he went to the New Orleans Saints. He brought Sam Mills with him, and Mills, this undersized uh, linebacker, you know, made the Hall of Fame eventually. There you go. Uh, it's a, he's, Birmingham Stallions, Pittsburgh Maulers. Uh, also, ah, oh, what was the name of the the Oklahoma running back who who tried to declare ah? The best that never was. The name escapes me. The Marvelous Marcus Dupree. Oh, technology and stuff, right? Oh, so he was a member of the New Orleans Breakers, and that's where he wrecked his knee. And he would have been great. He would have been fantastic in the National Football League, but it is what it is. But, yeah, New Orleans Breakers. This is officially a Breakers account now. And, like we said, going through that list of players, especially the cornerbacks, like who's going to have ish on Kyle Sluter? USFL MVP Kyle Jerome Ezekiel Sluter is bringing it back, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Sluter taking the first round of the USFL draft. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.